Welcome to Summit Racing Quick Flicks. Wait till the video comes to a complete and full stop because we're going to give you the complete lowdown on master cylinders. Today we're going to answer your questions about disc brake master cylinders, drum brake master cylinders, as well as differences between master cylinders for power brakes versus manual brakes. So let's start with disc brake master cylinders versus drum brake master cylinders. Uh, typically a disc brake system is going to require more fluid to operate properly. So a disc brake master cylinder will simply hold more fluid than a drum brake master cylinder. On a drum brake master cylinder, you'll also have a residual pressure valve to maintain a certain amount of pressure on the brakes at all times. And this is to prevent air from entering the braking system. So can you use a drum brake master cylinder on a disc brake system? We hear that question quite often. And you can, but you're going to compromise some of your braking effectiveness. And the reason is simply because, once again, the drum brake master cylinder holds less fluid than the disc brake master cylinder. And again, the disc brake system requires that extra fluid to operate at maximum effectiveness. Also, that residual pressure valve that we told you about on the drum brake master cylinder is going to cause a little bit of drag on the disc brake system's rotor, and that's going to, that's going to affect the overall braking ability of the system. Another question uh, we also hear is, can I use a disc or drum brake master cylinder on a four-wheel disc brake system? And the answer is simply, no, you cannot. Uh, you're going to need to use a special master cylinder uh, designed just for the four-wheel disc brake system to get the uh, proper amount of brake uh, fluid volume and pressure to operate the four-wheel disc brake system properly. Uh, now we're going to talk about manual brake master cylinders and power brake master cylinders. On a manual brake master cylinder, there's going to be a smaller piston board to maintain the, the proper fluid pressure required to operate manual brakes. There's also a deeper hole for the brake pedal push rod. Now you can use a manual brake master cylinder to operate power brakes, but not vice versa. Uh, power brake master cylinders have a larger piston board diameter and are not able to supply the fluid pressure required to operate a manual brake system. Another question we get regarding manual brake master cylinders is what is the proper piston bore size or piston bore diameter? And you're not going to want to go any larger than a one inch diameter in order to maintain the proper fluid pressure to operate the manual brake system. If you have more questions regarding brake systems or any high performance related topic, feel free to leave a question in the comments section below. For more quick flicks, visit the Summit Racing YouTube channel. Visit Summit Racing online at www.summitracing.com, follow on Twitter at twitter.com slash summitracing, or like Summit Racing on Facebook at facebook.com slash summitracingequipment.